Yes. Anyway, <laughs> Anthony, what do you got on the Bugs Bunny cartoons? It's a more, more another case of um, political correctness coming into play. You know, Bugs Bunny cartoons, grow up watching them. Warner Brothers put them out. Well, uh, Cartoon Network is going to do this uh, whole retrospect on Bugs Bunny next month. And they're leaving out about a dozen cartoons based on racial insensitivity, Opie. They are racially insensitive. God. Some of these uh, cartoons, you might remember uh, parodying uh, black-faced Al Jolson. Well, the truth of the matter is, Al Jolson used to do blackface stuff. And, and d doesn't it give you a little insight into what was going on at the time that these cartoons came out in the 30s well, and uh, 40s? You could, you could get, they haven't run these cartoons in a long time. Mm -hmm. these, these these sensitive cartoons. Yeah. Our, our friend Buzzy, he has uh, all the band cartoons, all yeah. the Bugs Bunny band cartoons. And there, there were cartoons that were on TV yeah. where they show black people being lazy, mm -hmm. eating watermelon, <laughs> yeah. with flies around their head as they're taking naps under mm -hmm. trees. <laughs> yep. Swear to you, this is Bugs Bunny, okay? They had uh, Bugs Bunny cartoons where Bugs was dressed up like Hitler or something, right? Yeah, there are, there are a bunch of the w ones made during the war. Where uh, Japanese guys are portrayed as the big buck tooth uh, Japs, and they're they're the slow, slanty eyes and the stuff. Big, yeah, like caricatures of uh, Jap uh, Japanese people of Japs. Well, they were calling them Japs back then. Well, get the Jap. And uh, a German, same thing. The big fat Schultz German guy. But it was wartime, you know. There, there's, there's Bugs Bunny cartoons where they have the swastika all over the. Uh, Oh, yeah. All over the, the, the cartoon. Yeah. And Bugs always won. You know, right. He always kicked the Nazis they, and the Japs' asses. They took those uh, off TV years ago. Yeah, now... I but mean, you can still get them kind of underground and stuff. Yeah. And, and and they didn't stop there, though, because then they started getting rid of all the violence from all uh -huh. these Bugs Bunny cartoons, which pisses me off to this day. Because that's part of the fun. The Wabbit Season, Duck Season one's a perfect example, where they started editing out where um, they'd get their... where uh, Daffy would get his beak shot off. They they would edit it out. It then the cartoon makes no goddamn sense. You're watching it, all of a sudden they're saying Wabbit season, duck season, and the scene cut to Daffy putting his bill back uh, in front of his face. And you're like, well, that isn't how it went. That isn't how the writers and the the guys that drew this stuff by hand years ago uh, wanted it to be made. And if you're going to put out a retrospective on Bugs Bunny, you could present it in a way that. Hey, this was during wartime. Or, hey, this was during the 30s when this was an acceptable uh, thing to do. You could pretty much go on the air and go, this was so wrong, but we want to show you. Well, you know what it is? Warner Brothers pulled it and said, no, we, we're going to pull a dozen uh, episodes because they were going to put a disclaimer or something, maybe something like that. But because of the multi-million dollars that Bugs Bunny merchandising makes for Warner Brothers, they don't want to taint that image with a racist Bugs Bunny or, uh, you know, a violent Bugs Bunny. So they're going to take out a bunch of cartoons, which just, you can't cover up what, what the past was. You know what I mean? And it was all done and fun. It's not like, you know, oh, brother, look, it's a porch monkey. You know, he's not saying that. <laughs> I mean, I'd watch that one. <laughs> which uh, cartoons are they? Black oil. <laughs> which which uh, cartoons are they uh, getting rid of? Ah, uh, that one, the one with the uh, the Al Jolson. Another one where he uh, calls a bucktooth Eskimo a big baboon. But that's he called everyone a yeah. big baboon. Get your hands off me, you big baboon. baboon right. You know, it wasn't a, a racial thing. And who the hell calls an Eskimo a baboon? It's not a racial epithet for a, an Eskimo. So they're pulling those and any of the other ones they uh, deem uh, racially insensitive. Let's go to uh, Oscar. Oscar! Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey. Yeah, previous to this, they pulled one during wartime where he was selling, where Bugs was selling ice creams to the Japs. And he was calling them a bunch of slanty eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you call them Japs. And... <laughs> That's great. What do you call it? Now, are they, are they going to finally admit to the fact that Omar Fudd had a thing against homosexuals and blacks because he was always, always going after Bugs when he was gay? <laughs> Is that what's going to be next? He had a thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Back to you, Russ. All right, Oscar. Thank you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Taking you, you right back. Let's go to Matt. Matt, 
Hey, guys. The hey. guy that's responsible for this is Jamie Kellner, who's had, like, a reign of terror over Warner Brothers animation. He was the guy that canceled Batman, the animated series, because it was too violent for kids. Mm. He's the one who told him to redo the Superman series because it was too scary for kids and they couldn't sell it, even though it's one of the best cartoons ever. He's the one who canceled Animaniacs and replaced it with that hysteria show. I mean, the guy's a friggin' tool. He's done all this stuff, and he's destroying Warner Brothers. He's the one who sold... Uh, uh, WCW to Vince for like pennies on the dollar because he didn't want he, uh, even though it made money for them he didn't want it anymore. Hmm. I mean the guy's a tool. He's want to let Buffy get away. This wait, guy's destroying the network. Wait, Animaniacs isn't on TV anymore? No, because he, he because he didn't get it. God, he, that was such a funny was a good cartoon. cartoon it was kind of a blast right. from the past. It was it was cartoons the way uh, they used to be. Right. Because he didn't get it. That was the thing. He said, I've got an idea. Let's have George Washington with Pee Wee Herman voice and put him on there. And it was a stupid history show that made no sense. People don't realize these. a lot of these cartoons were made before a lot of people had television sets. It was made, they were, they were the, the beginnings of movies. You'd go into a movie, they'd show a short, you know, a cartoon. Bugs right, Bunny cartoon. They were made for adults. Yeah, they were made for adults. You know, these Thank things God. aired I hate this place. during, uh, you know, Gone with the Wind. Before Gone with the Wind, you'd see a cartoon as an adult audience. Right. Uh, Bill's got something to add. Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Joe. Uh, what's up? Oh, what's up? The uh, <laughs> the one with the Japanese was actually called Bugs Nips the Nips. The Nips. <laughs> they Bugs called them the Nips. The nips. <laughs> well, that's what they called them back then. <laughs> sure, everything's hunky dory now, aside from an occasional submarine that comes up under your fishing boat. But you know, back then they were the Japs. There were atrocities going on on both sides, and it was reflected in in cartoons by clever writers that were writing stuff for adults. Now they're trying to pawn this stuff off on children, and they're butchering it, and they're taking away the, the art that was making these cartoons. You know what I mean? <sighs> Devin, more censorship. Hey. hey. What, what's going on, guys? What's up? Listen, they, the, uh, remember Hair Raising Hair, the cartoon where Bugs, uh, you know, puts the rollers in the, in the monster's hair? And oh. it's dynamite. Of course. <laughs> it's dynamite. It's, it hasn't been on TV in years. They don't blow up the head anymore. They don't blow up the head. They cut that out. I think it's because Bugs is kind of femme in that scene. You know, and, <laughs> I gave and, I gave up watching uh, the Bugs Bunny cartoons because, just like you said, there's a, there's a cartoon how you remember when you were a kid, yeah. and the scene like uh, you know someone's head getting blown off or something is just flat out not there, and it's a bad edit. You don't it just jumps to another part of the cartoon. It sucks. Mm -hmm. and it's the funniest cartoon ever, and it, and it, and they ruined it. I'm pissed. All right, thanks. I yeah, they, they they I just don't like the idea that they. Uh, they get away with it under the guise that it's something um, like, oh, we got to be sensitive. No, it's not. It, it's history. How could you not show history? That's like, uh, you know, turn on a, a movie from back then and watch some of the issues they're dealing with. It's the same thing. Just because it's a cartoon doesn't mean it's for the kiddies. It's going to happen to uh, Hollywood, too. The movies you watch. Oh, yeah. You watch. Well, We're always it, bitching. Where does it end? You watch. Gary. What's up, O&A? You'll get some powerful people in place, and they're going to decide, mm -hmm. you know, no more gunplay in movies because this has affected our society. No more yeah. of this violence. How do they say, and they say that they're doing this to protect the children because the children of today are so effed up, and people wish they could be like they were in the old days when these cartoons were airing and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. When we grew up watching them, and, and you know, people in the 50s grew up watching these things, but when they finally made it to TV, you know, I'd be plastered down in front on Saturday morning and watch every cartoon on television. It, 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 there's a well, little bit of hypocrisy going on there. because today the kids know that there are really talking rabbits who talk to their, <laughs> their, yeah. their, their, their duck friends and who have short little guys with mustaches chasing them around with guns. Right. Uh, Gary, what's up? What's up, Owen? Hey. I got a couple of valid points here. Remember the old cartoons where they see something really whacked and like a fish or something will come out of the water and say, well, now I've seen everything and put a gun to his head and blow his brains out? <laughs> yeah. They don't do that anymore? Uh -huh. Or how about the old like Daffy Duck Porky Pigs when he was like really drawn weird? He was really psycho. Yeah. And he was in the hospital and he was trying to saw Porky Pig with the, like, with the hand saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was like, what, like kids are going to go uh, attack each other with hand saws? <laughs> what, how about the Heckle and Jekyll cartoons when they called them magpies? Yeah. We all know where bagpies are. <laughs> but they don't even do that anymore, right? You'd be lucky if you even find them anymore. Yeah. You know, it was uh, a good one that they uh, used to cut the ending out of. And the ending was the whole friggin' cartoon. Daffy Duck trying to outdo Bugs on stage. And he finally does it with the uh, drinking the nitroglycerin and gasoline, uh, plutonium, and then he takes the match and swallows it and blows up. 
it would never show him drinking the stuff. They would show him come out on stage in the costume and then show him blowing up for no apparent I'm reason. I'm surprised they didn't show him blowing up I at this know. point. They wouldn't show him drinking the gasoline because, oh, kid might drink some gasoline. It's like jackass, only cartoons. This is also happening with uh, Little Rascals. That's why, yeah, the Little Rascals episodes are too racially insensitive. It's called history, you know? You don't look at it going, oh, wow, that's cool. Let's treat people like this or let's do this. You look at it and go, wow, this is a nice little piece of history, you know? Gives a little insight on what was going on back then. And you know what? In a way, it was entertaining. Mm. Rich, what's up? How you doing? All right. Uh, there was this Bugs Bunny cartoon where he goes, he's looking for, like, some carrot country or whatever. And uh, at some point in the cartoon, uh, Bugs Bunny's dressed up as Abraham Lincoln. He goes, what's this here about you whipping slaves? And that was one thing that they cut out years ago that I hadn't seen in a long ass time. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, there's, a, there's, many, uh, there's many examples of this, Rich. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. All right. Mm. Bye. Uh, yeah, when, he's, uh, when Bugs is in Africa... And he gets captured by the uh, tribe of the, um, and they got the huge lips on him, and they put him in the pot because <laughs> they're because they're cannibals. <laughs> you won't be seeing that. <laughs> well, cannibals were black. I mean, unga bunga binga bunga unga binga bunga something like that. Yes. What I say. And the funny thing is, they won't show it. But meanwhile, Bugs Bunny isn't a person, so. He's a rabbit, for Christ's sakes. He's a rabbit. You're supposed to eat them. He's a cartoon rabbit. He's food. But if you if you could ever... Uh, I don't even know. Someone should help us out with this. There, there was a tape that was going around called... Um, uh, ban, uh, shoot. Banned cartoons or, or something like that. Yeah. Someone put a uh, tape together of all the ones that are just not seen yeah, I ju- I on just, TV. It'll shock you. I rented a couple of those uh, like two weeks ago. It was called Weird Cartoons. Weird Cartoons? Yeah, and there were things that were banned and stuff. A lot of, uh, a lot of sexual stuff from Betty Boop and um, racial stuff. They had that one. It was called Lazy Town with the black people sitting around <laughs> eating watermelon. No joke. Under the tree, taking naps. Flies around their Flies head, are buzzing eating, around. Eating watermelons them. while like, the white people are working around them. They, they scrub up uh, the baby, and then uh, uh, <laughs> they go to dry.